when you remove a shark from the water, it no longer is forcing water over the gills. The gills are no long, longer uptaking oxygen, which the body needs to function. Placing a hose in the shark's mouth does not provide it with the adequate amount of oxygen that it normally obtains. Forcing water at a high rate of speed over a limited area of the gill raker does not increase the oxygen flow to the animal. The reason for that is that the gill filaments that are taking the oxygen out of the water that uptake it are limited. If you look at a white shark's gill slits, you will notice that they're very large when compared to other animals. As an example, look at a blue shark. Look at the size of the gill slits on the side of a blue shark and then compare those to a white shark. You'll see a white shark's gill slits are very large. The reason it needs a big surface area to obtain the oxygen required in order for it to maintain a normal life. When you remove it from the water and you stick a hose in the bottom of its mouth on the lower jaw and you turn on the water, it only covers about a third of the gill slit's total length. That means it's only taking in a third of the oxygen that it normally requires. As I said, forcing the water at a high rate over the gills does not increase the oxygen flow.